So very quietly, yeah. I want to see if I'm very gently going to try and find where where uh, Calliope is 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 uh, sleeping, and if it just to see if she's asleep, which very quietly. Um, you go and kind of walk across the area, keeping an eye out, and you pass by the exterior of the central temple structure, and you see a figure kind of sitting on the edge of the water. And you kind of look closely, and you can tell from this distance, which isn't too far, um, and with kind of the, the glow from the water, uh, the temple kind of base water itself, um, appears to be Calliope kind of sitting along the edge, toes kind of dipped into the pool, just kind of looking into it. Quietly as, I'm, as I can, I'm going to very, very gently, quietly walk up to her without disturbing her. Okay. Uh, you approach and you can see that she's sitting there just kind of holding the single crystal in her hand, and she's kind of like looking at the water and looking at the crystal, looking at the structure above her. Sighs very heavily. There's no one else around? At the moment, no, other than no one who's not petrified, at least. I very quietly, so slowly, get as close as I can, and remove the bone flute from my pocket. <laughs> Roll a stealth check for me, Caduceus. <laughs> I've been waiting so long for this. <laughs> the dice decides. Oh, 19. <laughs> you're you're not the most quiet individual you in your life. You've you've tried at times and with distraction you've been, you've been helpful. And in this moment, this soft smile of the wild mother looks upon you. <laughs> <laughs> As your feet touch soft red earth, just enough carried on the bottom that when you touch the stone of the interior of the temple, nary a sound is made, and Calliope is none the wiser of your presence as you approach, but a foot and a half behind her. She sits there, her toe kind of curling in the water. You can hear her. she begins to whisper a silent prayer. She just falls into the pool of the temple. <laughs> oh, she drops the crystal. Oh, oh yeah, no, the crystal goes in. Oh. She immediately goes like, oh, no! <laughs> this! And she takes the crystal that fell in the water and throws it at you. I run. <laughs> <laughs> she gets out of the pool and she chases you. I got you something. <laughs> yeah, I'll stop at the, at the front of the cave because I definitely know she cannot run. Okay. Uh, make, an <laughs> make an athletics check. Oh boy. Oh, my favorite. Uh, nine. Nope. nope. She knocks your ass to the ground. <laughs> she full on, like, poof, tackle charges you. You fall on the ground. You both kind of tumble a bit. You fall into your back, and she stands up and puts her foot on your chest, wet, just her hair just soaked down in front of her face, going. <laughs> <laughs> I've been carrying that thing for so long. <laughs> I was gonna thank you. Was. <laughs> you wouldn't <sighs> have enjoyed that. <laughs> it's coming back to you, it's all coming back to you. We'll see. I hold it up. The, the, the crystal? No, I, I hold oh. up, I actually hold up the bone flute. Oh, the bone flute? She takes it? <laughs> Where the hell did you get this? Oh, around. It's mine now. Until you earn it back. Be a shame if something happens to Colton tomorrow. <sighs> and I start to get up, pick up the crystal. Just saying. <laughs> Make a strength saving throw. Ooh. I'm going to do it. <laughs> 12. She sweeps your legs out from under you, and you fall right to the ground again. This is going to hit in your hip, and you're like, oh! Oh, man, I've missed you. <laughs> she reaches down and puts her hand out and picks you up. 
I missed you too. Hug. She gives it a, a hug, hug. A hug back, kind of, like, kind of a side hug, but like mm-hmm. kind of gives into it. You're such. You're such a you. I think I've gotten weirder. <laughs> That's not even possible. I know, right? What have your friends done to you? Yeah, they're very strange, especially the blue one. Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, maybe maybe some family time will do you good. Oh. Uh, actually, you were right about a lot of things. I've. <laughs> I know that. I've been out there. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot. I don't entirely know who I am anymore. I've. This. This past. However long I've. Leaving home changes you. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised it took you long enough to step out for a bit. Yeah, I wasn't going to be the one. I was supposed to stay so that the rest of you could leave. Um, I'm glad that you over, overcame your need to stay and got a little stir crazy. I may not be done. And I don't know what to tell mom and dad yet. She stops for a second and looks looks at your hand where you're kind of holding the crystal. And you can see like the crystal itself, like the exact same kind of coloration, that kind of like deepish purple color as to the ones that you had formulated within the fires of Kravarad, within the kiln. And at the edges of it, you can see these little spikes protruding. Just ever so slightly, like, almost like little tack points pushing out in four or five different places. And she kind of takes it and looks at it. Looks back at the temple. And she starts walking back to the follow center of the structure. <clears throat> you both walk up to the edge of the water, herself still dripping and leaving this trail to the edge of the pool. She holds it and throws it back into the water. You see it kind of slowly sink to the bottom. That kind of odd, undulating glow kind of shifting back and forth from the, uh, the structure around it. It's kind of lit from underneath by the stone build and whatever enchantment kind of holds the bottom of the temple pool floor. And from those points, they seem to continue to extend. As these long, thin, crooked, almost pseudopod-like extensions begin to grow out of them, like roots. Like a potato that's been left in a pantry too long and begins to just expand you begin to recall elements, the visions that you had of these crystals taking root eventually at their final destination. She goes, I feel like I remember something like that. Me too. You said you found some of these? Yeah. Here, you think? I mean, you throw the handful of crystals that you had refined, and as they all kind of slowly settle down, you watch as one by one they all begin to expand in the same way. These points kind of like jutting out, and another slower, almost like branches beginning to grow from the crystal, like they become these odd, small hearts with veins extruding to fine points. Like, it's very, very odd, but weirdly beautiful, and they extend just a little ways out from what was once a thin crystal to no further than that, and they stop. Like partially germinated seeds. It's time to take them home. I guess so.
I don't know if I can go home yet. I owe such a debt, and I don't... I, I don't know if... I don't know if I'm ready to plant. Well, uh, soon. You could always keep them on you when you come back and you're ready. Just don't take too long. I mean, we... I was gonna send them with you, but. With me? Are you going home? If you're not, someone has to. I gotta protect the rest of these knuckleheads and she points kind of over her shoulder. Maybe, uh, talk about it in the morning, but I'd appreciate, I don't know, I don't know how to talk to mom and dad yet. I'd gone, I mean, Corin. Corin would be a help, but we'll see. Well, hopefully in the morning. But if you want me to take these back and we can plant them in your stead, hopefully you'll come home to a, a safer homestead. And then you can leave. Yeah. I wanted it longer than I have. Get some sleep. Well, someone's got to pull this out first, and she pushes you into the pools. <laughs> and watches over. So, pick them up. I put all three up on the ledge. I make a grab for the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and make a, uh, this would be... Dex? We'll say you grab her. This is a strength check to see if you can manage cool. to overpull. So. Okay, I would have been thinking about it, so here we go. Yeah. Oh. Nope. Ooh. <laughs> you grab, she's, her hand slips out and she puts her foot forward, not not painfully, just but just, just pushes into your face and much like the Santa Claus and Christmas story, just, just, just slowly out. pushes you yeah. back yeah. into the pool. I'm looking up, oh. I bob back up. Later then. You still have Good night, water breathing. Deuces. It's gone now. It lasts Just for 24 so hours. Yeah. <laughs> she grabs the crystals and kind of puts them into the satchel and turns around and leaves. I'm going to soggy my way back to the Just float to the bar okay. like the Murray and Rushmore. Just. <laughs> As you walk past, you, you can't help but, being the high perception caduceus you are, watch. As like a faint, almost dance of the sugar plum fairies track of music <laughs> goes to the cavern, as the rest of your group begins to just dart from hut to hut to hut, exploring the the weirdly uh, disturbing ghost town of this cave. As everyone is still stone and locked in various phases of fear or anger, as you begin to. Peruse their personal belongings. What are you doing, guys? What are you doing? I'm, I'm going to uh, rearrange doing? the furniture. Sure. Mm. Yeah. So I'm thinking Joshua. like a couch. God, it's harmless. A couch <laughs> in the kitchen, yeah. and then put the dining room <laughs> chairs and Divine table in the bedroom. Yeah. Uh, you know. We stack them in weird ways. Frank. Yes. Poltergeist shit. Yep. I like it. Uh, no I human. Stack chairs, stack chairs like this. Uh, a, a caveat: <laughs> Caleb didn't go. He's doing something utility back at uh, back with Caduceus as a stone family. You got it. You got it. Uh, utility. I'm just going to. I'm going to look for underwear. <laughs> are you uh, all uh, defiling the? Yes. They are. Not petrified, no. No. Petrified no. We're not making anything. Temple of the Wild Mother right now. This well, is not, not temples. It's temple. our huts. We're just doing the house. You, th these beds that people definitely masturbate in are not fucking temples. They're cloisters in the temple of the wild. What's a cloister? It's, it's, it's a place where you masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> not arguing with that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nope, not arguing with that. <laughs> <laughs> 